This is question four from the June 2020 set of exams by Cambridge International. In the description below, you'll find a link to an image of this question, so you can do the question before looking at my solution. This question is about an arimetric progression. And now, students find these quite easy when someone tells them what A equals and what D equals. Or maybe even tells them the first few terms. But one thing that I notice trips up a lot of students is when they give it to them like this. Now, it's not quite what they said. They said the nth term of an arithmetic progression. So I wrote Tn, because that's the nth term. T1 is the first term. T2 is the second term. Tn is the nth term. And they told us it equals this. Now, that gives you absolutely everything you will ever need. This is better than we given A and D. But if you would rather, um, and for some of these questions it is easier, find the n value for which the sum of n terms equals 84, it is often easier to get a and d. There's another way to do this one, but I think the easiest way is to find a and d, and then use our formula for sn. sn is equal n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. So we can use this and we now know it equals 84. And if we know what A is and we know what D is, all we're left with is X. So that's probably going to be the easiest way. So let's find out what A is. A is the easiest one to find. It's T1. T1 is the same as A. And we know what T1 is because they tell us. They tell us T any number. That's what N means, any number. T1 is equal to a half 3 times 1 minus 15, because n is 1. That's the only thing we need there. So this is equal to, let's see, 3 minus 15 is minus 12. So this is equal to minus 6. T1 equals minus 6, or A equals minus 6. And again, we can do find out T2, and that way we'll know what um, D is. So T2, let's see, T2 is equal to a half 3 times 2 minus 15 and so that's 6 minus 15 is minus 9 so that's equal to minus 9 over 2 that's equal to minus 4.5 or you can leave it like this if you'd rather so if we start minus 6 then minus 4.5 you can put in t3 but i can already see that t3 will equal minus 3 and you can check that if you want 9 minus 15 is minus 6, minus 6 divided by 2, that is right, but I can al already see it because it's uh, minus 6, minus 4.5, minus 3, let's write that out another way, let's write it like this, minus 6, minus 4.5, minus 3, what's next, ask yourself what's next, minus 1.5, 0, 1.5, the, the common difference here, the D, is um what is it it's 1.5 plus 1.5 be careful about that it looks like it's getting smaller doesn't it but it's not it's getting bigger every time uh, minus 4.5 is bigger than, than minus 6. okay so we know uh, d equals 1.5 and i know a equals 6. i can fill this out then sn is equal n over 2 times uh, 2 times minus 6 is minus 12 plus n minus 1 times d which is a uh, 1.5 let's see if it's 1.5 or 3 over 2 would probably be easier to write in algebra let's fix that now when we multiply this all out right let's multiply you know let's change it now 3 over 2 right let's multiply um these two together first i think n over n over 2 remember all this is equal to 84 Okay, n over 2, we got minus 12. Let's see, we have 3 over 2 n, and we have minus 3 over 2. All equals 84. Let's multiply this guy in, and then we can get rid of these fractions. We got minus 12 over 12 n over 2. Let's go and divide in. We get uh, plus 3 n squared over 4. And we get, let's see, minus 3n over 4. This is just this multiplied by each of these. All equals 84. Let's get rid of these bottom rows. Multiply everything by 4 will make it disappear. Multiply this by 4, it'll be gone. 
So uh, if we multiply this by 4, we get minus 24n plus 3n squared minus 3n equals, uh, that times 4 is 320 plus 16, which is uh, 336. Let's clean this up uh, some more. We'll have 3n squared first. Let's get all the n's together, minus 27n and minus 336. It looks like three divides into all of these. So one last time, n squared minus nine n minus, let's put equal zero there. Uh, let's see, 112, it looks like. Check with calculators for all of these. Okay, so we're left with uh, something like this. There's probably a factor here. You'll have to check a good few factors of uh, 112. I've already done this. Let me do it up here. The factors of this guy are going to be n and n. Uh, two numbers multiply like 112. You can go through a good few of them. Two goes in. Three goes in. Four goes in. I'm oh, sorry, three does not go in. I'm sorry. Four goes in. Um, six, no, six does not go in. Here's the interesting one though, seven. Seven goes in. It is. It goes in seven and sixteen times. Uh, seven, sixteen is seventy plus forty-two, which is a hundred and twelve. And uh, we want a minus number here. So one of these have to be a minus, and they need to make up minus nine. So sixteen minus seven. No, seven minus sixteen. Seven minus sixteen will work. So that means n is equal to minus 7. That's impossible. Where we don't do, n's cannot be smaller than 0. Where n1, n2, n3, they're just normal natural numbers. Um, so that means n is equal to 16. That's our final answer. Uh, find the value of n. Yeah, that's all they asked us for. Okay, hopefully that um, answered your question. Sorry there's a bit of extra background noise. There's uh, some building going on somewhere. Um, and uh, yeah, ask me any questions below if you need clarification on anything. Have a great day.